He answered that one, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. Good morning. Today's best intentions are for Christopher Reed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy, endow the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant we pray that a fire with the same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Or why was I not buried away like an untimely birth, like babes that have never seen the light? Wherefore did the knees receive me? Or why did I suck at the breast? For then I should have lain down and been a crank, been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest with kings and consuls of the earth who built where now there are ruins, or with princes who had gold and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from troubling, there the weary are at rest. Why is life given to toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death, and it comes not. They search for it rather than, hidden, rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in, it, ex, rejoice in it exultantly, and are glad when they reach the grave. Those who pass is written hidden from them, and whom God has hemmed in. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord my God, by day I cry out. At night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited surf surf with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, and who are cut off from your care. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. Oh, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for men. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, the saint of charitable organizations, the saint of the poor. He was born a peasant in 1581, in a French village near a, a stream called Paul. He grew up, uh, he longed to desire, desired to escape the poverty and the hard work of his youth. He imagined that as a priest, he could have fine clothes, good meals, that he could be provided for for the rest of his life. He had no idea what God had in store for him, how God would make him a saint. So he became a priest at age 24, and he sailed to Marseille to sell some land that he was given by a patron. And on the return voyage, this is when his life changed forever. Pirates overtook the boat and enslaved everyone on board. Chains around his neck wrecked his ideas for comfort, wrecked his dreams for a life of ease. He was auctioned in the slave market in Tunis to the highest bidder. His first owner was a fisherman, but the fisherman found him prone to sickness, so he sold him to a doctor. When the doctor died, Vincent was passed on to a farmer who was a previous Franciscan priest turned Muslim. Vincent's fervent faith and devotion was so great that it reconverted the heart of this former Franciscan priest, and together they both escaped to France. Vincent had been a slave for only two years, but even those two years severely affected the rest of his life, his call to the poor. He tasted the poverty, the fears, the sufferings, the strains of slavery. And he felt in his soul stirring a newfound desire, newfound determination to serve the poor. He had experienced extreme poverty in estranged lands, and when he got home to Paris, he vowed to never let those there experience that same dissolution. He soon established an order of priests in Paris to care for the sick and poor, followed by the Sisters or Daughters of Charity. And besides attending to the poor and sick, he held retreats for clergymen. He devised systems to help to put into place to care for the poor, and he particularly took care of imprisoned galley slaves. St. Vincent de Paul went to Paris as a former slave prepared to be a slave for the poor. In a particular way, he participated in the very life of Christ, who became poor to care for the poorest among us. Now, St. Vincent de Paul was a man of great deeds, but he was not a man of good humor. He was a man of inexhaustible kindness, but not a man of inexhaustible patience. He was quick-tempered and cantankerous, but above all, he was kind. And I highlight these uh, shortcomings to let us know that God uses us exactly how we are. Sometimes we think to ourselves that it's impossible for us personally to become saints. We say, I'm too impatient, or I'm not smart enough, I'm not holy enough, I'm not devout enough. If we think this way, we're right. 
we can't become saints. It's not our limitations or our weaknesses that keep us from sainthood, but instead it's our preoccupation or our focus on ourselves. If we recognize our shortcomings and surrender them to God, he will make saints out of each one of us. All we have to do is give him our lives and strive each moment of each day to serve him and our neighbor. Holiness lies in receiving the love of God, returning that love of God to him and to others. St. Vincent de Paul started out with a less than pure desire for comfort, but instead he experienced the sufferings of slavery. Instead of becoming bitter and angry though, he turned his terrible trial into a deep love and care for the poor. What is it in your life that God wants you to use for his greater glory and for the ser service of others? What shortcomings is he calling you to surrender to him? As we celebrate Mass today, offer your whole heart to God, and he will make a saint out of you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual treasure. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to you may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna and God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, Cherie, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the sin. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver.
First Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion and farm. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy. His wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things.
let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be, we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth with the Mass of Seven. Saint Michael, be our protection. Stand in the path. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into the hell of Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking.